Um, what up guys? Thanks for stopping by my channel again. It's the Alicia C here. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video and break down my top 12 all-time favorite Chris Brown music videos. Anybody who knows anything about me knows that I have a deep affinity for all Chris Brown things. Chris Brown is my favorite entertainer of all time. I've been a huge like Chris Brown super fan since I was 12. Also, I want to make sure that this is clear, guys. These are my favorite Chris Brown music videos, not favorite Chris Brown songs. And if you are part of Team Breezy, there is a difference. I know you guys know, but we ain't new to this. We true to this, fam. So music video number one. So the first music video is the first time I ever laid eyes on Chris Brown. He just danced his way into my little heart. <laughs> but I was like a preteen when this song came out and I don't know, it just changed my life forever. I don't even, I think I was just watching BET or something at the time, like at home with my family and this song just came on and I was just glued to the screen leg for like a whole four minutes or however long the music video is. But the first song is Run It. Run It is one of my favorite music videos because it was just like, it was little baby Chris. It was Chris coming out the gates. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> if you know what that song is, you already know what the second song is. I'm not the best singer, but obviously this is why I like Chris Brown because singing and dancing entertains me. But the second music video is called Give Me That or Give Me That, sorry. Let me pronounce that correctly. Give me that. Why is this my favorite Chris Brown video or one of? It's one of my favorite Chris Brown music videos because I love the 1920s. Like, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, that's like my favorite decade in all of time. Psych. <laughs> hashtag wishes I could dance like Chris Brown, but I can't, so here we are. Okay, so number three, this is my, <laughs> this is my third selection out of like my ultimate CB video playlist. It's actually probably my absolute favorite video, but none of these videos are listed in a particular order. I was really just trying to narrow it down and I was getting so overwhelmed because it's so hard to pick, but anyway. My third pick for my CB video playlist is Undecided. I love Undecided. Like out of all of Chris Brown's discography, I think that this is like my most absolute, this is like my Michael Jackson Remember the Time music video. That's how special this music video is to me. It's my absolute favorite. <laughs> The video itself was really amazing. It just makes me want to fall in love. And it's like, if I went on a date in general, or if I went on, <laughs> or if I went on a date, like ever, it's like my dream date. It's like my fantasy in real life, but he put it in a music video. That's exactly how I would like date people. <laughs> but no, I love amusement parks. I'm very childish. Like so this is a very fun, lighthearted video and it has like that throwback vibe as you can see. So yeah, that's my favorite video. But yes, number four is wall to wall. So I don't know why this video just gives me like major throwback MJ vibes. Like my mom was a huge Michael Jackson fan and obviously the apple didn't far, fall far from the tree, which is where I get this from. But I don't know, some of the first videos I've ever seen were probably like Thriller, Bad, Remember the Time because it's my mom's favorite song. So wall to wall, it's just cool. Like it gives me vampire vibes, but it also gives me kind of like Thriller vibes. So I don't know, it's just always my favorite. And that like watching the vampires pop off the wall and like the visual effects and all this crazy stuff so it's one of my favorite vibes and I always will love that song and the music video because I feel like they match the concepts match so well 
Okay, so number five is Kiss Kiss Chris, or College Chris as I call him. I love this music video. It's so much fun to watch. Like I was getting ready to go away to school when this song came out, or like I was like in progress in that process of preparing. So this was like very personal and exciting to me to see him reenact this. I don't know if Chris ever went to college or like to classes or whatever, but it made me really excited to go away to school. So it's just a cute, it's like a cute little love story that, you know, we all want to experience when we go away on our own for the first time. But I love the varsity fit too. Varsity jackets are some of my favorite things to wear. So aside of the visual aesthetics, like the dynamic energy in the music video, it was just fun to watch and I felt like I was watching a movie. So that is my number five. Okay, so She Ain't You is going to be my number six. I'm putting it in six, but it's not my actual number six. As I said, these videos are not in a particular order. If they were undecided, it would be my number one. But number six is She Ain't You. And I really love this music video because, as I mentioned, I was exposed to Michael Jackson from a very early age, like preschool, like straight out the womb like both my parents had a thing for michael jackson they love his music and i remember my dad playing this music like it was some of the first music i remember like as a child um on the way home from school so she ain't you gives me major like michael jackson smooth criminal vibes with the white suit and the magical background i think seven streeter was in this music video but it's a feel-good song and again it's like cinematic so i really enjoyed watching it sweet love sweet love is my number seven so like i really really like this music video and honestly if I had to compare it to a song, I would compare it to Biggest Fan. Like, that's the vibe that I get. And I honestly wish he would have made a music video for that. I don't think he ever did. But, um, she lived that bad boo. <laughs> Sweet Love is one of my next favorite videos. This is number seven on my list. To your baby. I love the aesthetic of the music video. It's like very ethereal and dreamlike and full of whimsy. And I just love how mysterious Chris Brown is. I think that's probably why I like Chris Brown over Trey Songs. Like Trey Songs, we already know what's gonna happen. Chris Brown is like, you kind of know, but you can never really know what to expect. He's so artistic. Like, we get so many different sides of him. It's more interesting to me. And I just love his art. Girl, you know that's his job, selling fantasies. Okay, music video number eight. So music video number eight is going to be Armageddon Chris. Don't Judge Me is one of my favorite songs, but like what made me love this song more was the music video. The music video is my fave because it was the first time I've ever seen Chris Brown as an astronaut. Like he always does like different acting bits in all of his music videos like sometimes they're like performance based and sometimes they're like really cinematic um armageddon chris is one of my favorites like who wouldn't want to see bass i love movies i freaking love movies and this looked like a movie but I definitely think that the music video made me love uh, Number eight or whatever number this music video is <laughs> on my list. The next music video is Don't Think They Know by Chris Brown featuring Aaliyah. I love this song because I love this song for so many reasons. Like if I think about all the songs that I always replay, this music video always comes up like and I don't even just listen to the song like I'll go play the music video and I think I like this music video so much because one Aaliyah's in it my fellow Capricorn sis <laughs> and then the second reason I like this music video is because like honestly I don't think I had heard anyone else sample Aaliyah's music like in an innovative way except for Drake I think he sampled some of her stuff before and then the music video itself was artistic like 
he's just an artistic soul and I just I, I can't get enough of the art that he has in his soul like I need him to keep making these music videos okay the next song on my ultimate CV jams playlist is forever by Chris Brown my mama loves this song but also I love this song because who doesn't like yeah. Moving at the speed of night into eternity. It's just a loving song. It's a loving, happy song. Like, I've seen so many engagement videos to this song. Like, not even talking about now, but like in the past, like when the song first came out and then the years to follow. So, like, this is a very, this is a Chris Brown classic. So, the next song, next to last song on my Chris Brown playlist is Autumn Leaves. And I, this is from X, the album, but, and surprisingly enough, I have all of Chris's albums except for X. And I think I really just didn't buy it because I feel like he was so heartbroken. I didn't want to hear anything about him being heartbroken, but it's, it's a very emotive, expressive song. And of course, Karuchi is in it. She's beautiful. And the music video itself, it was different. Like it was another side of Chris that I haven't seen yet. Like I hadn't seen his love for like, Japanese or Asian culture and it manifested in the music video and I think it was it was different and it was beautifully made like I don't know how else to explain that like it's just a very like deep soulful vibe but also it incorporated elements of nature and it just there was a lot of meaning in the song and in the music video so I really love that song and Autumn Leaves is one of my favorite videos that I've ever heard. Okay, so the last song, the last song that I have on my list for you guys, because of course this could go all day. Like if you team breezy, thumbs up this video, shout me out sis, we can connect at the next tour. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> keeping that short, I'm a day one fan. But the last song on this list is Heat. Stumming, baby girl, hop on these I really, really, really like this music video because it's Chris Brown in a suit. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I get really excited when I see well-dressed men, especially well-dressed black men. And the man is wearing a suit. He's wearing a suit. Like, <laughs> I don't even know how else to say that. But like, yes, I love Chris Brown's music video for Heat. And then also the models were stunning. Like it was just a beautiful music video. It was just like all these beautiful people shopping, like two of my favorite things. Mind you, that sounds kind of vain, but like I express myself through fashion and through makeup and through appearance, but also my personality. So I really vibed with this song, like with the video, because it's a fan, it's like painting a fantasy. Like, of course I want to go shopping with you, Chris. Of course I want to go. Thumbs up if you like this video, um, comment your favorite song or Chris Brown era below. I'm glad you guys watched this video again. Thanks guys for supporting me. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking. Thanks for sharing these videos with your friends. Like I really get off on you guys responding to me and leaving comments. Like it brings me joy to like connect with you guys in this way. And this is something that's very personal to me because it's who I am as a person. So like, thanks again. And I'll see you next time.